G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this very sweet little Peppa Pig, my granddaughter's favourite character of all. If you'd like to make it along with us, simply click on the link in the description below. You can print out your free PDF pattern templates and we'll get started. So to make our little Peppa Pig today, you'll need your two body pieces back and front with interfacing applied. You'll need your two head pieces back and front with interfacing applied. You'll need two head fillers, which is just plain felt, two of those. You'll need your little scrap of print cut out in your heart shape with visible web applied. Also the same for the cheek, the little piece of felt. You'll need a couple of beads for the feet and you'll need a couple of beads for the arms, for the little hands. Remember that those beads will be threaded onto your ribbon or your cord, so your hole in the bead needs to be big enough to accommodate that. Your cord can be, I've used rolled satin ribbon. You can use braided cord or any little cord that you can find. You'll need four pieces, two for the arms, two for the legs and, one, and, and an extra one for the little tail, so five in all. You'll also need a little two hole button suitable for the nose. Any, either one of those would do. You'll also need an extra button for the back because that's how we're going to attach the head. You'll need a split ring and you'll need just a little piece of six millimeter or nine, 10 millimeter grow grain for the loop for that split ring. Also two little eyes, white, buttons will do just nicely because we're going to centre them in black but if you can find something that has a little circle that's just that little bit more animated. So our first step is to take our body front and we're going to fuse that little heart shape on the front there. Make sure it's centred and even and the little point sits about one and a half centimetres from the base. So now that we have that little heart fused into place, there's a couple of ways that we can actually treat the edge of that heart. I'm actually, I've threaded up a single thread of extra strong embroidery thread. I've put a knot in the end. I'm going to sew a blanket applique stitch all the way around. You can, if you like, just sew a top stitch on your machine. So you can just sew very close to the edge there all the way around. You could perhaps just do a running stitch. Because Peppa Pig is actually a very simplistic design, um, that little primitive look of a, of a running stitch would work very well. I'm just going to do this stitch because I, I like doing it. You can have a look on my other channel, Lisa Pay, how to sew a blanket applique or buttonhole stitch, and that will show you how to do this stitch nice and up close if you're not familiar with this one. So I'm going to work that stitch all the way around to the edge. So it's just two to three millimetre stitches. I come in just a little way in, come out right on the edge through the loop and that creates our little binding stitch there. So I'll we'll work that one all the way around the heart. So with that heart nicely sewn into place, we can put that one aside and now we prepare our body back. On your pattern template, you'll find that there are little marks on your pattern template that tell you where to place your arms and legs and little tail piece and simply what we do because this little body is not turned through we're actually going to apply a little bit of clear craft glue onto the end of each of our arm and leg and tail pieces it's probably about a centimeter and a half and we're just going to glue those into place just so that they will be incorporated in the seam when we sew those two body pieces together. So glue your arms, your arms and your legs in place and your little tail with the ribbon facing outwards just as it would when it's sewn up and we'll let that dry for a couple of moments. There's our little arm, legs and tail pieces glued on. You can see that I've left those ribbon lengths fairly long. That's, I'm going to cut them obviously because the little arms and legs and tail are cut much shorter than that, but I just like to have enough to work with. Probably you could cut your ribbon lengths to around about 10 to 12 centimetres. That will give you plenty of room. So 
our next step. Make sure that all of our ribbon pieces are facing outwards. We're going to sew our body front to our body back. And you sew on the machine just about an eighth of an inch in all the way around, the same width as this seam here, in a matching thread. And your sewing point begins just about a centimetre above each arm. So you're going to incorporate all of those little lengths of ribbon as you go around and we finish just a centimetre above that arm. We need to leave this top section here open for filling. Once our seam is sewn all the way around we're going to add some polyester filling. Just a little bit to fill that body out through the top there. Make sure that you get in nicely into the corners with that filling. I like to use little forceps for stuffing but you can use chopsticks, perhaps a knitting needle just to get down into those corners. Tack it reasonably firm and just up to about the top there because we need to close the opening there. We need to glue our little ribbon loop in now before we sew that top line so just a little bit of clear craft glue on your little ribbon end there and first we're going to fold that one in half so just to keep those edges together and even and then we're going to actually glue it into place on the back so slip that inside centered nicely you only need about a centimetre or just under exposed there. And we're going to press that one down and we'll just let that dry. You can see I've popped a little pin in there just to hold that one there. I have threaded up my needle with three strands of embroidery cotton and now I'm going to work a blanket stitch around the entire outside of our little body shape just as we have on this one. That will incorporate and close that opening as we do so and also it will incorporate that little ribbon. If you are not familiar with the blanket stitch, I have a video on Lisa Pay, How to Sew the Blanket Stitch, that shows you up close. Basically the stitch is I have a knot in the end of my thread and I've come out between exactly between those two layers of felt so our starting point, our little blanket stitch is actually going to follow that seam line which, which helps us a lot here to keep our stitches even but they're probably about three millimetres. So through all the layers and then coming out, exiting through the loop, through our loop and pull nice and firm. So I'll do one more for you. So keep our stitches nice and even and well spaced, again all through all the layers, back through the loop and that will create our binding edge which will go all the way around. So with our blanket stitch all done it's time to add our little beads for our feet and arms. A tricky way to treat the ends of those ribbons or braids to thread through a bead. If you just wrap the end in a little bit of sticky tape, a little bit of cello tape, you can really fold and press that end down so it's much easier to thread through your bead. So it's just a matter of popping that one through. Now Peppa Pig has very short little arms and legs so the amount left exposed of that little leg and same with the arms is only two and a half centimetres. So you simply tie a knot at the base there, knot it off very firmly so that just two and a half centimetres is left exposed. Do the same for the other leg and the two little arms. There are all our beads on and a little curled tail. It's as simple as a little loop made. there just a little loop and just pop in a couple of stitches using a matching thread just to hold that little loop and then just snip your ends. It's a good idea to burn the ends of your little 
ribbons. I'm just using just a little gas lighter here just to treat those ends and the ends of the tail just so that they won't fray. So with our body all done we can start work on the head. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark in the little mouth position here. I'm going to use a little fine permanent marker and it's just a little, you can see the placement there. It's about a centimetre from the meeting point under the nose that it starts and it's just a little half circle. You can use you can use anything that you've got. You can use perhaps the little bottom of a cotton reel. I'm just going to use this little teddy bear joint. And it's really just a little half circle. Have a good look at uh, mine there. You see that it starts about a centimetre down. Remember that we're sewing all around the outside so make sure that you've got room to accommodate that. And we're just going to draw that one in. So it's just a matter of marking a few little points that show you that stitching line there. Once you have that marked in, then we're going to fuse with a hot iron and a protective cloth our little cheek piece in place also. And you can see that that one just sits just above that little smile there. So I'm ready to sew in that little mouth line. I've threaded up my needle with three strands of embroidery cotton and we'll start at our first point marked in. This stitch is just a linked back stitch that we use. So we come in from behind with a knot in the end, make our stitches quite small around about three millimeters so that we can follow that curve really well. And it's just a matter of following that line and coming back from behind and then we're going to link those stitches by going back into the hole we just came out of and that will give us a lovely straight linked line. You can see that we're going to follow that line of stitching all the way through. And once our lovely little crimson smile is sewn in I'm using just a, an upholstery, an extra strong upholstery thread and I'm just going to work a blanket applique stitch, the same stitch that we used before on the heart and I will work that stitch all around the cheek. Our next step is to sew on our little eyes and nose into position. Before I do that I like to actually glue on one of our head fillers because it gives us just a little bit of volume to sew those buttons onto and they tend to sink in better into the felt and it's just overall a better look so just a little bit of clear craft glue on that first head filler so right there make sure you leave room all around the outside just press that one down you can let that dry for a couple of minutes so with that filler on the back there we can now position and sew on the little eyes and the nose. The little nose you can see just sits with the, the two little nostrils going disturbingly out of perspective as Peppa Pig's face does. So we're going to just make sure that that one's lined up. Remember that we're making that stitch all around the outside so you need to leave enough room there. And also if you have a look at his little, uh, her little eyes, you'll see that one eye sits just pretty much directly below that first, that first ear. Again, leave enough room for your stitching and also if you're using two hole buttons, make sure that they're lined up, that your slits are going across. I use a black extra strong upholstery thread to center those eyes so we get the look of a pupil and I will use a very deep crimson to sew on that nose just to highlight those little nostrils. Now that our little eyes and nose are sewn in place I've just gone ahead and glued on that second filler over the top. Our next step is to use our clear craft glue and we will glue all around the outside edge and those little ears and a little bit of glue on the back and then we will add 
our back piece, line them all up and you'll just press down those edges, add some alligator clips if you like to press and hold those while those edges dry and seal together, leave it for about 5 or 10 minutes. Now that, that those little edges have dried you can start working your final blanket stitch around the entire outside of little Peppa Pig's head. I'm just going to show you this corner on the ears. You can see on this little one that as I've been working that blanket stitch, as I come to the ear base corners here, I've just extended the stitch so that it's a little bit longer, just so that it gives us that illusion of framing the top of the head there. So on each of those corners, we just make those stitches just come in a little, little bit longer. So I'll show you this one here and make sure that you are using that nice deep crimson coloured thread because we really are just sort of, you know, imitating what Peppa Pig really looks like and she is outlined in a nice deep crimson colour and it shows up very well on the pink. So I've just taken that stitch just a little longer than I would have the others and pull that one into the corner and then I'll continue on up the little ear just the same way. A blanket stitch all around the outside. The stitches are around about 3mm. So you can see that that's just marked that out nicely. Now our final step is to attach Peppa's head to her body. So we'll need a button uh, we usually use a two hole button but if you only have a four hole button like I have today that's fine, we'll just use two of the holes. So you need to decide and position where Peppa's little head will go and we start at the back. Our button will sit quite central, probably about a centimetre from the top there. So we first up we're going to Go in through the button and out nice and central through the front of the body. That one will just sit there. And then we're going to pass through the head a little way. So we want to enter in a mark. I've put a mark there that's, I'll have a little measure of that one. You can see that that's sitting around about three centimetres from the edge, from the lower edge of Peppa's head. And we're just going to enter our needle in and take up some of that, that felt filler from the underside. And we're going to exit just the same distance across, just taking up enough to hold that little head in place. Level with our mark. And we're going to pull that one through and we're going to enter back into the body just across and then we're going to come out again through the back and we'll come through the button again on the other side. So I'll pull that all through. So what you should end up with here is this effect, our thread running through the back, out through the front of the body, taking a little bit of the head there, across and back through again and then when we pull that all in you can see that our little head will sit nicely. Just check the position and then it's just a matter of tying those two ends off. I tie them off about four times re-thread the ends onto my needle and just sink them back into the body. So there's our little Peppa Pig all finished and I've just added a little split ring on the back there so she's ready to hang up. Well I hope you've enjoyed making little Peppa Pig with me today. If you have you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be beautiful. Now remember to subscribe because I'm actually going to be making the entire Peppa Pig family. So my next tutorial will be making George, little Peppa Pig's little brother, and then we will be making Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig, and I will have a very happy granddaughter. So until next time, 
Remember to pay it forward because everybody can. And now it's her from me. Of our ribbon pieces are facing outwards. We're going to sew our body front to our body back. And you sew on the machine just about an eighth of an inch in all the way around, the same width as this seam here, in a matching thread and your sewing point begins just about a centimetre above each arm. So you're going to incorporate all of those little lengths of ribbon as you go around and we finish just a centimetre above that arm. We need to leave this top section here open for filling. Once our seam is sewn all the way around we're going to add some polyester filling just a little bit to fill that body out through the top there. Make sure that you get in nicely into the corners with that filling. I like to use little forceps for stuffing but you can use chopsticks, perhaps a knitting needle just to get down into those corners. Pack it reasonably firm and just up to about the top there because we need to close the opening there. We need to put a strong embroidery thread. I've put a knot in the end. I'm going to sew a blanket applique stitch all the way around. You can, if you like, just sew a top stitch on your machine. So you can just sew very close to the edge there all the way around. You could perhaps just do a running stitch. Because Peppa Pig is actually a very simplistic design, um, that little primitive look of a, of a running stitch would work very well. I'm just going to do this stitch because I, I like doing it. You can have a look on my other channel, Lisa Pay, how to sew a blanket applique or buttonhole stitch and that will show you how to do this stitch nice and up close if you're not familiar with this one. So I'm going to work that stitch all the way around to the edge. So it's just two to three millimeter stitches. I come in just a little way in, come out right on the edge through the loop and that creates our little binding stitch there. So we'll work that one all the way around the heart. So with that heart nicely sewn into place we can put that one aside and now we prepare our body back. On your pattern template you'll find that there are little marks on your pattern template that tell you where to G'day, welcome to Pay It Forward. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this very sweet little Peppa Pig, my granddaughter's favourite character of all. If you'd like to make it along with us, simply click on the link in the description below. You can print out your free PDF pattern templates and we'll get started. So to make our little Peppa Pig today, you'll need your two body pieces back and front with interfacing applied. You'll need your two head pieces back and front with interfacing applied. You'll need two head fillers, which is just plain felt, two of those. You'll need your little scrap of print cut out in your heart shape with visible web applied. Also the same for the cheek, the little piece of felt. You'll need a couple of beads for the feet and you'll need a couple of beads for the arms, for the little hands. Remember that those beads will be threaded onto your ribbon or your cord so your hole in the bead needs to be big enough to accommodate that. Your cord can be, I've used rolled satin ribbon. You can use braided cord or any little cord that you can find. You'll need to place your arms and legs and little tail piece. And simply what we do, because this little body is not turned through, we're actually going to apply a little bit of clear craft glue onto the end of each of our arm and leg and tail pieces. It's probably about a centimetre and a half and we're just going to glue those into place just so that they will be incorporated in the seam when we sew those two body pieces together. So glue your arms, your arms and your legs in place and your little tail with the ribbon facing outwards just as it would when it's sewn up and we'll let that dry for a couple of moments. There's our little arm, legs and tail pieces glued on. You can see that I've left those ribbon lengths fairly long. That's, I'm going to cut them obviously because the little arms and legs and tail 
uh, cut much shorter than that, but I just like to have enough to work with. Probably you could cut your ribbon lengths to around about 10 to 12 centimetres. That will give you plenty of room. So our next step, make sure that all of four pieces, two for the arms, two for the legs and one and, and an extra one for the little tail, so five in all. You'll also need a little two hole button suitable for the nose. Any, either one of those would do. You'll also need an extra button for the back because that's how we're going to attach the head. You'll need a split ring and you'll need just a little piece of 6mm or 9-10mm grow grain for the loop for that split ring. Also two little eyes, white buttons will do just nicely because we're going to centre them in black but if you can find something that has a little circle that's just that little bit more animated. So our first step is to take our body front and we're going to fuse that little heart shape on the front there, make sure it's centred and even and the little point sits about one and a half centimetres from the base. So now that we have that little heart fused into place there's a couple of ways that we can actually treat the edge of that heart. I'm actually, I've threaded up a single thread of 